And here is the Writer's Almanac for Tuesday, the 30th of January, 2018. It's the birthday of Richard Browdigan, born in Tacoma, Washington, 1935, made his career in San Francisco, where he got involved with the Beat Movement, read his poetry there at rock concerts, wrote for underground newspapers, a man with long blonde hair and granny glasses, best known for his book Trout Fishing in America, published in 1967, which he wrote on a portable typewriter on a camping trip with his wife and little daughter in the Stanley Basin in Idaho, sitting alongside a trout stream. It's the birthday of the novelist and short story writer Shirley Hazard, born in Sydney, Australia, 1931, best known for her novel The Transit of Venus, which won the National Book Critics Circle Award in 1980. It's the birthday of the historian Barbara Tuckman, born in New York, 1912, author of The Guns of August, a study of the events that led to the outbreak of World War I. And it was on this day, 1972, that British Army parachutists shot 27 unarmed civil rights demonstrators in Derry in Northern Ireland, an event that was known as Bloody Sunday. The group had been marching to oppose the British policy of internment, whereby people had been imprisoned without a court hearing. The troubles in Northern Ireland, stemming back to the Treaty of 1923, which partitioned Ireland, the Catholic South as an independent nation, and six counties of Northern Ireland with a Protestant majority still part of the United Kingdom. The march on this day in 1972, the parachute troops given the okay to fire, the first person killed, shot in the back while running away. Thirteen persons died that day. Half of them were teenagers. All of them were unarmed. Here's a poem for today by Jack Riddle, From Our House to Your House. It is 1959. It is the cusp of the coming revolution. We still like Ike. We are still afraid of Sputnik. We read Life magazine and Sports Illustrated, where the athletes grow up shooting hoops in the driveway, playing catch in the backyard. We sit on our sectional sofa. My mother loves Danish modern. Our pants have cuffs. Our hair is short. We are smiling, and we mean it. I am a guard. My father is my coach. I am sitting next to him on the bench. I am ready to go in. My sister will cheer. My mother will make the pre-game meal from the joy of cooking. Buster is a good dog. We are all at an angle. We are a family at an angle. Our clothes are pressed. We look into the eye of the camera. Look him in the eye, my father teaches us. All we see ahead are wins, good grades, Christmas. We believe in being happy. We believe in mowing the lawn, a two-car garage, a freezer, and what the teacher says. There is nothing on the wall. We are facing away from the wall. The jungle is far from home. Hoses are for cleaning the car, watering the gardens. My sister walks to school. My father and I lean into the camera. My mother and sister sit up straight. Ike has kept us safe. In the spring, we will have a new car, a Plymouth Fury with white walls and a vinyl top. From Our House to Your House, a poem by Jack Riddle, From Practicing to Walk Like a Heron, published by Wayne State University Press and used by permission here on the Writer's Almanac, supported by the Poetry Foundation, offering poetry podcasts to listen to and thousands of poems to read at poetryfoundation.org. And by the Mosaic Foundation of Rita and Peter Hayden, based in Ann Arbor, honoring the literary arts and the universe of great ideas. And by Progressive Insurance, working to make progress for more than 75 years. Produced by Joy Biles, assisted by Teresa Burgess, be well, do good work, and keep in touch. <laughs>